At 17, I had a family intuitive that told me to read a specific book on manifestation, follow it to a T, and everything in my acting career would come to fruition, and nothing happened. But I realized I was a really good manifester, so at 25, I threw it all away, and I watched what I did when that actually worked and always resulted in what I wanted. So a question I get often is, how much do I have to put in effort versus just sit back and trust the universe? And I like to say that it's called co-creating with the universe for a reason. You have your part. So old new age manifestation rhetoric always talks about, you know, make your vision board visualize and then what you want will come to you and that's actually really called comfort zone because you would have your thing if that was happening right nothing has changed in your life therefore nothing's coming and a big thing that i figured out was you actually have to do your part in order for that stuff to magnetize to you of what you're calling in meaning you need to show up and go out and expand, you need to pass tests and lessons, you need to unblock your limiting self-worth, unblock on the physical plane, and why that's so important, all of that's doing is it's wiping away the layers of programming you've received in this lifetime that aren't allowing you to be your most magnetic, authentic self. That place, that magnetism of being authentic and whole is what's actually attracting what you want to you. That, that's why that space of showing up for yourself and working and um, saying no to what's not serving you or what's making you feel small is so important. It's actually what's pulling the stuff to you. It's called magnetism. Um, another component I like to talk about while I'm talking about this is called the trust muscle. Um, I say because we've all, we're all humans on the human plane in this experience, we've all in some way, shape or form, we've experienced um, bouts of shame, you know, depression, um, low self-worth, therefore it's not innate or easy for us to trust the universe and just assuming that what we want will come so we can free fall and trust. It's a muscle. We have to strengthen it over time. And what actually strengthens it is the more we manifest from small to big, our muscle gets stronger and stronger. The bigger the manifestations get, the more kismet, the stronger it gets. So. If you're someone who's in that position right now, who's like, ah, oh, I created my vision boards, which I don't believe in, um, and I'm visualizing so much, I can see it, I can smell it, I'm wearing the clothes, I'm you know, setting my bed for my partner and nothing's coming, it's because you're not actually doing the work to show up for yourself um, and to unblock, to delayer, to really come into your strong, authentic, magnetic self, which is actually what's going to be attractive what you want then the universe is there to start gifting you <laughs> with what you want that's a way to think of it um, so I'll close this video off on a really important concept when you hear things like get into the vibration get into the frequency what that actually means it's code for raising your self-worth in ratio to what you want that's what actually magnetizes in what you want so your whole part of the equation is raising your self-worth and getting there subscribe below and if this all sounds like total mumbo jumbo to you don't worry check the links below we have all of the workshops listed where you can start unblocking delayering and stepping into your magnetic self